Since the Ukrainian operation in Russia's Kursk region started, local residents and Russian soldiers stationed there have been willingly providing the OSINT community Inform Napalm with operational information about Ramzan Kadyrov's militants. The hostility of Kursk residents towards Kadyrov's forces is attributed to their abuse of civilians, while the conscripts suffer from the non-regulatory practices imposed by Kadyrov's militants. Inform Napalm relays all obtained intelligence to the Ukrainian Defense Forces and provides Russian conscripts with safe conditions for surrendering to Ukrainian forces. Inform Napalm's founder, Roman Burko, mentioned receiving dozens of messages from residents of the Kursk region who are in the combat zone. We are grateful to the residents of the Kursk region who risked their lives to provide information about Kadyrov's men and assist the Ukrainian armed forces in liberating the Kursk region from Kremlin occupation, emphasized Roman Burko. Swedish media site Dagens News has an explosive report out that Ukraine's recent invasion of Russia's Kursk Oblast may have been facilitated by treason of the Chechens, who were supposedly manning the border posts there and refused to fight against the Ukrainian invasion force. According to military bloggers known for their Z commentary, Kadyrov's Akhmat unit allegedly backstabbed Russian forces by deliberately avoiding confrontation with Ukrainian troops during an offensive in the Kursk region. A former Wagner mercenary who goes by the name Alex Parker has shared on his Telegram page that Kadyrov's forces were well informed about the Ukrainian advance and intentionally allowed them to proceed. Russian military propagandists have expressed outrage, accusing Kadyrov of betraying Russia by orchestrating a secret non-aggression pact with Ukraine. This alleged treachery has fueled claims that Kadyrov's men abandoned their positions and avoided combat rather than defending the Russian frontier. Russian volunteers collected humanitarian aid worth more than a million rubles and loaded it into a military Kamaz vehicle to be delivered to Russian servicemen in Ukraine's Luhansk region. However, the aid was not delivered to the Russian position due to an attack by a Ukrainian drone that dropped an incendiary mixture on it. Following this, the humanitarian aid burned along with the truck transporting it. A projectile fired from the drone hit the vehicle in the front row of the convoy of several Kamaz trucks, causing an explosion. The vehicle with gas cylinders caught fire while it was moving. As a result, in addition to the humanitarian aid in the vehicle, the military supplies, including the radio-electronic combat equipment also burned. Volunteers have stated that the Kamaz vehicle belonging to the military unit needs to be repaired. They also stated that they would collect aid to buy new radio-electronic combat equipment to replace the destroyed one. It should be noted that most of the territory of Luhansk region is under Russian occupation.
Пошел один. Вы пидорасы кого взяли. Вы пидорасы, сука. А? Ублюдки, сука, э. Братишка, вот это сделал ну. Oh, my God.